Let's start with some big breaking news regarding Chelsea's search for a new head coach. As you can see, our chief reporter, Carve Solokol, joins us now. Carve, what can you tell us? Well, Chelsea are closing in on making Enzo Maresca their new head coach. I've been told that Chelsea have been very impressed by the breadth and depth of his knowledge about their squad in talks with his representatives. They've also been impressed with his single-minded focus on the way Chelsea want to play and also his desire for the job. Uh, one thing that's really stood out in talks with his representatives has been his obsession with possession and positional play. Uh, and that is what has made him the leading candidate. Now, what's happening today is that Chelsea have asked Leicester for permission to speak to Maresca, and he's now their preferred choice to take over from Maurizio Pochettino. The appointment could be made in the next few days if and when that agreement is reached with Leicester. Chelsea, of course, are willing to pay compensation. I think it will probably be about £10 million. And also personal terms have to be agreed. But all our information today is that all roads are leading to Enzo Maresca becoming the new Chelsea head coach. And it could be in a matter of days. Yeah, you preempted my next question. Could it come, this announcement, as soon as this week then? Well, I think Chelsea have uh, always made it clear that they want an announcement before the end of this month. So before the end of this week. And I know for a fact that Beth Dardek Bali, uh, who is uh, the person who is really pulling the strings uh, behind this, and he's been in London uh, for more than a week now, he is still in London. I think he's due to uh, leave very shortly. But he is the one who's been here to make sure that this is done and it's done properly. And Chelsea have had a very thorough process. We told you all about their shortlist with Kieran McKenna, Thomas Frank, Roberto De Zerbi as well. Chelsea now feel that Enzo Maresca is the one for them. And that's not to take anything away from Kieran McKenna, Thomas Frank or Roberto De Zerbi because they're all very impressive candidates with very impressive CVs. But I think Chelsea just feel that Enzo Maresca at this moment in time is the right man for them and he shares their vision for the future. So you explain why it's probably going to be Maresca over those under ca other candidates that you mentioned. But this is a guy, yes, he did amazingly well with Leicester, but he hasn't had any Premier League experience as a manager. Is that any kind of issue for the Chelsea hierarchy? I mean, that's a very good question. He's only been a manager for, I think, one and a half seasons. He was a manager at Parma in the Italian second division. Then he got the Leicester job and he did a very good job at Leicester, although there have been some issues behind the scenes. I don't think all Leicester fans have been happy with him, even though they have won uh, the championship. I think there were problems about recruitment, problems about the fact that Leicester have been charged by the Premier League over breaking uh, allegedly financial fair play rules and also they're under a transfer embargo from the EFL. So there have been issues but I think Chelsea just want a head coach. They want somebody who's going to coach the first team and the first team squad and is going to deal with the media because everything else they believe they have in place. Every other department, the structure is in place. They just want somebody who shares their vision for the way they want their side to play. And that is possession-based football. And I think what is really, really important is because when I've asked the same question that you've asked, why are you going for someone who has no managerial experience in the Premier League? What I was told is Mikel Arteta didn't have managerial experience in the Premier League. But the important thing is that he worked under Pep Guardiola, which is exactly the same as Enzo Maresca. You could say that Enzo Maresca, I'm not saying he's a better manager than Mikel Arteta, but he's got a little bit more experience because he's been a manager for, what, one and a half seasons and he's won the championship. But don't underestimate the Pep Guardiola effect in all this. I think if you are, a, you know, if you're a head coach who's worked under Pep Guardiola, you've got a real head start when it comes to going for these big jobs. Although then you still have to impress. Uh, and I think uh, Enzo Maresca has definitely impressed through his representatives in talks with Chelsea because I was told that his knowledge of the Chelsea squad, and I'm not just talking about the famous players, I'm talking about the youth players, the ones who are coming through, the ones who are out on loan. I was told his knowledge of the squad is encyclopedic. 